Little house mosquitoes, Asian tiger mosquitoes. With all this warm weather and rainfall, mosquitoes are breeding everywhere. There's going to be a lot of biting. Hi, I'm the bug guy here for University of Maryland Extension. Mosquitoes are more than a nuisance. They carry important human diseases like West Nile virus, Eastern equine encephalitis. But today we're going to learn how to put the bite on mosquitoes before they put the bite on you. B means we're going to block mosquitoes before they bite us. I means we're going to inspect our landscape, find out where they're breeding. T means we're going to treat standing water and kill those mosquitoes before they develop. And E means we're going to eliminate their breeding sites. Won't give them a chance. Let's go learn how to block mosquito bites. When you're working outdoors, you can block mosquito bites by wearing protective clothing. Long sleeve shirts, long pants, and hey, there are even lines of clothing that will repel mosquitoes. Also use personal protection. There are a wide variety of mosquito repellents on the market. The gold standard, of course, is DEET. This is going to give you long lasting protection. Alternative to DEET is this one. This contains picaridin. There are also brand new guys on the block. These are botanical products. In other words, they're derived from plants. I'm going to give this one a try. This one comes from the lemon eucalyptus. Let's see how well it works. To find out how well these repellents work, we're going to have to find out if the mosquitoes are hungry. This is the cage of fear. There are a couple hundred vampires in here. Let's put my hand inside. We're going to see if these mosquitoes are hungry. Oh man, look at that. Well, this is pretty unpleasant. They're starting to bite. All right, so no question, those mosquitoes are hungry. Let's see how well that repellent works. Whenever you use mosquito repellents, be sure to read the label and follow the directions exactly. If you have children, be sure to help those kids put on those repellents. All right, we've got the repellent on. Let's go back to the cage of fear and see how well it works. Okay, repellents on, back we go into the cage of fear. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. These guys are lighting, but they're not biting. They don't like this very much. I think this repellent works really well. I like it. Hey, if I'm chilling out on my patio or having friends over, I'm gonna take a floor fan, set it up, turn it on. It's gonna create a nice breeze. That's gonna keep me cool, but guess what? Mosquitoes don't like to fly in a breeze. That's gonna block their bite. Hey, I don't have time for a drink. I gotta go out and inspect my landscape, find out where mosquitoes are breeding, how they're getting inside. Inspect your house. Hey, sometimes even simple things like leaving a door open, that's gonna let mosquitoes in. In fact, they're gonna follow you right inside the house. So close those screen doors. Home inspections have to include gutters. Oh, look at this one. This one's clogged. It's got lots of standing water. This is breeding mosquitoes. I'm gonna have to fix this one later. If you inspect your landscape and you find that you have standing water that you simply can't get rid of, hey, then it's time for tea. It's time to treat that standing water to get rid of those mosquitoes. These are called mosquito dunks. They're formulated from a soil microbe, so they're environmentally very, very safe. I just take a couple mosquito dumps, I'm gonna toss them in the water, they're gonna dissolve, kill the mosquitoes breeding in these pools. Hey, it's time to eliminate that breeding site in this plug gutter. Oh man, look at this. Oh, look at this junk. There's a lot of garbage in here. Hey, look at this five gallon pail. It's full of water. There must be 500 mosquito wigglers in this pail. So remember, block the bite, inspect your landscape, treat standing water, and eliminate breeding sites. For the little larvae in this pail, I think it's time that they kick the bucket.